Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. You are watching Kevin L. Kelly on my food review channel on YouTube. What I have in store for you today is arancini. Now I may not be pronouncing that correctly, so we'll just call them rice balls. Okay, I'm going to be using pretty simple ingredients as you see in front of you. Instead of making homemade rice, Cooking it from scratch, I'm going to be using the sticky white rice. I'm going to add mozzarella cheese and or meatballs. Take a look at the ingredients. And hey, let's get going. I'll show you how I did it. Okay, the first thing I'm going to show you is the rice. I have taken it out of the box. It is a pre-cooked rice, a sticky rice. You see the box here in front of you. Now you can pick this up at Publix and I also believe they have it at Walmart. Follow the uh, directions and which is placing it in the microwave. All right, when I get this out of the microwave, I'm going to spread it out on parchment paper to let it cool down so I could work with it. All right, let me show you how it's done. Okay, while I have my rice in the microwave, I'm going to saute onions. I've got about a half a cup onions. With that, I'm going to add about a tablespoon olive oil. With that, I'm going to add seasoning, Italian seasoning, about a tablespoon. I'm going to cook my onions first, get those sautéed up. Keep in mind you want to get them translucent, but you do not want to burn them. Okay, this is all going to go into a sauce. I do have a pre-made sauce, which you saw in the beginning of the video, and I will show you again. All right. Got this going on. I'm going to dump about a tablespoon and a half of garlic. I'm also going to add a pinch of water. Water is to make it steam up a little. You don't want to burn the garlic. I'm going to add a tablespoon of pepper. And guys, you can actually add anything you'd like to the center of the rice ball. I'm going to do a pre-cooked meatball, which is made out of beef. And I'm also going to do a few, just with cheese, and the red sauce, which this is going into. Now it doesn't take very long to get this going, to get it finished. This video, I'm trying to show you how you can kind of simplify the time and the process it takes to get this prepared. In this day and age, we are all super busy. We have family, we have kids, we have jobs. So, you know, there's not really a whole bunch of time. But if you'd like to take the time, you can make the rice. You could uh, do the rice balls by hand, which I'm going to show you. I found a little gadget that I'm going to use to help me make the rice balls. I'll show you that a little later on in the video, so stick around. Okay, I'm pretty happy with where this is at right this moment. and uh, Let me change up a little bit and I'll show you what I do next. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is get my sauce, uh, which is going to be the inside filling, ready. And uh, as you've seen in the first of the video, this is what I'm using. Now, 
some people may be saying, hey, make your own sauce. Well, you know, I'm from Alabama, so, um, and it takes a lot of time to get the sauce prepared right. So this is what I'm using, and uh, I've used it before, and I really do like the flavor. So, with that said, let's get started. Now, again, I'm using my induction cooker, and I've got it set about 275. So I'm pretty much going to put this in here. Um, I'm not going to use it all. And I'm sure I'm not going to use all that with the rice balls that I'm doing. Here's what I cooked before. I'm going to add that to it. Okay. And get this mixed around. <clears throat> now, once I get all the ingredients in here, I'm going to let this simmer for about a half hour, maybe more. Um, just keep a check on it. Keep it stirred up. All right, now here, meatballs. So again, now I'm gonna keep these stirred in, keep them covered. And uh, once this comes to a, a simmer, I'll let it simmer probably for five, 10 minutes. And uh, this is partial of what's gonna go inside of my rice balls. All right. Let me get this going. All right, this is pretty much a little close up of what's going on. I've had it simmering for about 15 minutes. I'm gonna give it another 15. And let it thicken up a bit. All right. See you in a moment. All right, I'm going to come back here and I want to show you, this is about the consistency of your sauce. You definitely do not want it to be too thin. It has got to stay inside of the rice ball. Give you a little close up here if I can. Okay, you see there just, I mean you don't want it too thick, but you see how it is? And I kept this stirred up constantly so it doesn't burn most of the moisture is out I think we're pretty ready we're pretty uh, pretty good here all right let me show you what I do next hey guys stick around to the end you really do not want to miss this I got a little surprise ending of another ingredient so uh, stick around find out what it is My rice is done, heated up. I am going to cut it and spread it on the parchment paper, wax paper. Guys, you just want it to cool down a bit. It's extremely hot, actually. Grab another one. 
print it out. Again, these were in the microwave, the two of them, for about 10 minutes. Follow the instructions on the back of the box, and uh, they'll come out great. Again, this is a simple version. Rather than making your own rice, this is very easy, and it's very sticky, which is a good thing. All right, I'm going to let that cool down and show you how to make them. All right, guys, welcome back. I'm going to show you how I put together these rice balls. I got this off Amazon. It's a, it's actually a pretty damn good thing to get. What you want to do, I got a rag over here and or water. Don't have your hands dripping wet. Just take it, pack it in. Get it pretty, uh, no, get it pretty tight. Put the top on. Set it down. Take this, flip it over. So you can see here. Kind of wiggle it around. Let it set for a minute. All right, so we can ease this off. You see what you got there now? You've got a nice pocket to put your ingredient. Okay, I'm going to put the top back on so it stays together. I'm going to throw one piece of cheese. I'm going to throw some a little bit of sauce in the sauce in the bottom here. Guys, I'm going to throw a meatball that I cooked. I'm going to throw another piece of cheese. All right. Next thing, wet my hands a little bit. The rice is very very sticky. I'm going to pack the top. So you can see here, packing it around. All right. And if you'll notice on the other side, there's a rounded spot. I'm going to take that, set it down, press it on, press it on. All right. I'm going to take the top off. Again, moisten my hands. Look at that, guys. Now you can't tell me that does not beat the old school way. Oh yeah, look at that. Pretty good. All right, there's one. I've already got one setting over here. I'm going to do one more for you. Again, we're going to pack it. Get a pretty good bit in there. Maybe not that much. Okay, we're going to put the top on. We're going to set it down, use that in, put some pressure till it goes all the way down. Okay, see so it goes all the way down like that. Ease it out. Guys, again, that's almost perfect. Okay, I'm going to use my surprise ingredient. I'm going to throw two cheese balls in there. I'm going to throw some of this in there. And why not? I'm going to throw two more cheese balls on top. Again, guys, we're going to pack it. Top. Good and tight. I'm going to stick a little more. A little bit more. Okay. Push it down with the opposite end. That's it. I'm going to wet my hands again. Get that baby out of there. Look at that. Look at that. The breadcrumbs will fill in around here. Um, I'm going to show you next how I uh, prepare them for deep frying. All right. I'll see you in a minute.
right, this is what I came out with out of the uh, two pre-made sticky rice packages that you've seen in the, uh, the beginning of the video. Uh, well, this is it. I got seven out of it. You've seen the process of making them and what I put in the center. Now, this is a very important part. I'm going to take these and put them in the refrigerator for half an hour, maybe 45 minutes. Um, and that's going to make them stick together really good. And then I'm going to show you my uh, dredging station. How I'm going to bread them and then deep fry them. All right, stick around. All right, well, here is my surprise ingredient. Now, I really like this stuff, so I'm going to try it out inside of my rice ball. And keep in mind, you can put anything you would like to put in there. So this is what I'm going to try along with the meatball. All right. Again, I'm using my induction cooker. I really love this thing. If you guys have a chance, you really need to pick one of these up. Very simple, easy to use, heats up super, super quick. And it also cools down super quick. All right. Let me get this cooked up and I'll get right back with you. <laughs> Taking these out of the refrigerator they've been in there about 45 minutes and this is how I'm gonna dredge them they're, they're pretty firm but still you want to be you want to be careful with them we're gonna roll them flour this is just normal um, self-rising flour dust it off there's the egg make sure it covers it pretty good Drain off the excess. Okay. Then, hope you can see this, we're going to roll it in the breadcrumb. Now, give it a little time because keep rolling it because it's going to continue to stick. Don't be too, uh, too hasty with it. Okay. All right, we're gonna set these to the side. Set them to the side on my wax paper. I'm gonna show you one more. I'm gonna roll it. <clears throat> Get it covered pretty good. Egg wash. Okay, very simple. right let it drain and again i could have used a different bowl for this maybe a square one but it is what it is at this point in time because i'm making one big mess anyway roll it around you want that crumb to stick obviously 
and if there's a wet spot after you've placed it on the wax paper parchment paper <clears throat> you can always recoat it all right this is pretty much what i have tip i would definitely use uh something that's not so slick this bowl is kind of slick so it's kind of sliding out but i said it's pretty much what we have i may double coat these all right, I'm going to get a few done, and I'll see you in a moment. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, I have taken these out of the refrigerator, let them come to room temperature, and I'm using the induction cooker once again. And I'm going to lower them down. That's it. Now guys, you do not want these to cook too fast. Let's see if I can do it this way. You're going to want to flip these. As you see, the grease does not cover. So I'm only going to place three in the pan. All right. I'm going to turn these up just a bit. But keep in mind, you want to cook these slow. They have got to cook, but they also have to heat up what's on the inside. Okay? So that's what we're looking for. Heat up on the inside without burning the outside. All right, guys, keep these moving along, and I'll be right back with you.
All right, what you're looking at is my finished product. I'm gonna cut one of these open or break it open to see how we did inside. Kind of move these out of the way here. Gonna cross your fingers here. Sweet. I'll take it, guys. I will take it. Ooh, that's hot. All right. I want to thank everybody for spending the time to watch my com complete video. If you haven't subscribed, hey, if you like the video, subscribe. Maybe give me a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Hey, until next time, I'll see you later.